YouTube, how you are doing? Today I'll be testing out the uh, silicon uh, indestructible, flexible, I don't know what thingamajiggy keyboard uh, budget gadgets have sent me and I'm really thankful for them for sending me uh, a product uh, to review. Uh, now the first thing uh, when you get this thing is a uh, uh, keyboard is you find it in a box rolled up and then you open it up and you go like, oh, cool, nifty. It's actually fully flexible uh, as they claim on the box. They also claim it's uh, indestructible and it's uh, waterproof and it's um, dust and dirt proof which I'll be testing uh, and so on and so forth. But the first concern here is does it actually work as a flexible keyboard? So uh, we'll plug it in and test it but one of the first, uh, one of the few things you notice when you get this keyboard is um, two shift buttons, two space buttons, two enter buttons and two shift buttons again and um, I'm not very clear on why that happened over there but um, it would have been nicer to have um, media buttons instead of duplicated buttons over here. Uh, let's give it a shot and see how you can type on this thing. Uh, by the way, it comes with a USB connector. I have my keyboard connected via USB, obviously, and uh, let's try it out. So um, let's try something. I am trying out this key see it's a bit difficult if you're not used to the size uh, keyboard no 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 board uh, because I am not used to the size of keyboards yeah see the um, while it does work um, two things you gotta keep in mind is that uh, the buttons will not be as responsive as a uh, normal keyboard uh, or a high-end, mid-end keyboard, um, but uh, rather less responsive. Uh, second thing to note is the size of the keyboard is slightly awkward um, for some. For example, I use the Logitech G15 and the size is, uh, I've gotten used to the size now. So it's difficult for me to change sizes, but you get used to these things uh, in a while. The thing you don't get used to is the buttons aren't responding enough. Let me try it with a video game, actually. Alrighty, let's try out the keyboard. Um, I'm trying it with my G9 mouse, uh, so let's see how it plays. It feels, we it feels weird to type and play on, uh, because I've tried the... Is the W buttons right now? It just feels a bit weird, but let's see. It could work, could not work. I'm not very sure. Let's. Uh, it's hardcore team deathmatch. I need to wait to respond. Come on. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now, uh, trying to sprint. It's a bit weird. I mean, definitely a step down from the G15, or five steps down. But you can actually pull off a gaming session on this thing with this portable keyboard. Yeah, I got two people now having some difficulty with this pipe plane because the buttons are uh, not standard size. That's three. That's four. Yeah, uh, you can, you can, you can play with this thing. And uh, let's come on. This is my number five. Lucky okay, number five. Five. Okay, six. Um, yeah, playable, playable. But I would not go in a terminal to that thing. Come on, stop hiding. That's seven. Uh, that's eight. Oh damn. I'm out of ammo. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You you can you can play a game with this thing. You can actually play a game with this thing. Nine. GT five? 
A nine? This keyboard is pretty much indestructible, except for one part, this part. This part, and I can feel it, has the circuit board for the keyboard. You can feel it. I'll open it up and let's see. Um, this part, if you run it over with a car, it's going to break. This, on the other hand, pretty much indestructible. Whoa, it's actually pretty tough to open. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. There we go. You have a circuit board on this side. Unfortunately. Um, otherwise, you see the rest? It's pretty much nothing can destroy what's on that side. Maybe fires or, <laughs> or some things, but most uh, things will not ruin this side. So, how does this keyboard fare? I'd say it's a good keyboard given a few uh, setbacks. Now, the uh, dual buttons, for some reason, two shift, two, two space buttons, two enter buttons, I don't get that. Um, I wish it had media buttons again. Uh, it's pretty much indestructible except for the part I uncovered over here, which is easily destructible. So I'd say it's 90% indestructible. Now if you want to buy this as a gaming keyboard, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you want to buy this as a keyboard you want to carry around, or a keyboard you want to eat food on, or have a party on, or whatever, or a keyboard for your kids. Now this is a great keyboard for those uh, specific usages. Um, especially to withstand a fanboy's hissy fit. Um, yeah, I'd like to thank... Uh, budget gadgets for sending over this keyboard I'd love to review more stuff and this has been the review by Dr. Wasabi